Hey guys, this is Kinesi B12. Welcome back to more Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, we did a bunch here in Gobi's Valley, and this episode we're gonna finish it up. Basically, these guys right here will just be moving around a lot, and you're just gonna wanna shoot eggs into their mouths. Yep, so you just gotta shoot three into each. So then a pyramid starts coming up. And now we have to go feed that one. So that's how it works, I guess. And then there you go. More of the pyramid comes out, so I think we have to do... Did I say pyramid? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I think that's the last one we have to go do, so let's do it. We have a smaller pe pedestal to stand on, so... This is why you should wait until you put the water in here so you don't fall all the way down. Got it. All done. There we go. Uh, before we go inside, let's get the mumbo token. Eat them both. Alright, let's go inside. Now, this is probably the hardest part of this of this thing. This is King Sandy Butt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. Uh, we have to do it at some point. Ugh, I'm missing four notes. And I'm kind of freaking out about that. Are the phone notes... Four phone notes. Four notes in here. You know what? Listen. Get ready. You're going to have to go through this huge maze. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. And you only have a minute to do this, so be prepared. I'm going to try to do the right uh, path through it. And then there's a second path you're supposed to take because it'll give you uh, the grunty switch. Shoot. I don't know. Alright, I did it. Okay, there we go. On oh, the last four notes, please tell me the last four notes. Please. Oh, thank God. He survived. He's here. Thank the Lord that happened. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Okay, thank God. Because I, I was worried if I died in there, then I would uh, have to uh, do that all over again. I would have to get all those notes. But nope. Awesome. And you hear that, Jinjo? Yeah. Oh my God. What are we about? We're about to get the last Jiggy, too. Holy crap. Last you give this world. And just to hold on, I kinda paused them dancing here. <laughs> Look it, we're done. That took 30 minutes. Jeez. Alright, we're heading back in there. Okay, so you can just start it over. Alright, I might as well go in since I got everything. Basically, all you're going to want to do is this. Go right over here. Hit the, the grunty switch. And that will open up. I don't know why I went that way. All right, we're good. All right, we can get out of here. Why did this close? I don't know. Let's head out of here, though. Well, 
we are done with Gobi's Valley. Damn. But faster than I thought it would, I can tell you that. Well, let's head on out of here. We don't have to come back ever. So say goodbye. I like this world now. I, I really do. It's not that bad. So. Alright, well, let's head out of here. The best note score for this world is now 100. Alright, we're only five minutes into the video. Let us just head back. Alright, well, let's also get that jiggy here. What you're gonna wanna do is this. Use this. And I missed. Well done. Okay, you know what? Alright. We have to aim this just right. So we can. Crap. There we go. Do do, uh, do 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 Well now, <laughs> what we're gonna do in, for the rest of this episode is we're gonna head back. Where are we gonna head back? We're gonna head back to. Excuse me. We're heading back to Bubble Gloop Swamp. Yep. Guess what I have to go do? This is gonna suck so bad. Oops. Well, let's go on in, I guess. Uh, I do not want to have to go do this again. Alright, I will, uh... I'll meet you at that... At the... You know... Why can't I talk? I'll meet you guys at the... Whatever it's called. At the... Big Crocodile, inside the Big Crocodile. After I turn into my f other form. Alright, see you guys in a sec. Uh, here we go. Stupid Mr. Vile, I'm back. Yeah, how's that make you feel? Her, her, yeah, I know who you are. Oh, thanks. Alright, so basically, once you get grab the shoes, you can grab a bunch. And this is actually kind of the time you want to like follow him around because you're way faster than him now. And the cool thing about the running shoes is they, they stay on the whole game, so you don't have to worry about it. Look at that. I dominated him. I literally dominated him. Yes. Come on, grab them. Thank you. No, don't miss. Do 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 Uh, 
Yeah, I know what to do. Okay. Oh, come on. Alright, good, I won. See? That's that's why those are very helpful. <laughs> Mr. Vile never lost before Greenie can have prize. Yeah, I better get to have a dumb prize. I hate you. Yeah, so you can keep playing to win three extra lives. No, I'm good. I'm gonna slide off like a slug. Thanks, bro. No, I am, because I just beat you. Ugh, oh, that's so angering. Alright, well, um, I will meet you guys, um, near the entrance of, uh, Freeze Easy Peak. Alright, see you guys in a minute. Alright, now that we're around here, let's go to the entrance here, because now that we have those speedy shoes, we can actually do something. We can actually do something, guys. Oh, man. We're gonna get the... We're gonna get that jiggy that the grunty switch gave us from this world. That we could not get before. So, let's go to the end here. I believe it's at the end. It is. So, what we're gonna want to do is this. Press the switch. I made it still. Ha. Huh? Alright, for what I'm gonna let you know now is you're gonna wanna break this eye for later. I have a good reason why for it, just do it. Do it. So you can actually fly through this area. It's gonna wanna stay away from the ground because if you land on the ground then you can't fly anymore. Come on, let's go. Alright, we're gonna wanna fly all the way to the top. Right here. And there you go. That is the seventh one in Grunty's Lair. We're getting we're getting through this area pretty quick. What you're gonna wanna do next. <laughs> This is uh, something you can do if you want, but come on. Actually, you could have done it all before. I don't know why I didn't do it before, but right here. Is there anything at the top of this? Apparently not. Alright, another Bruntilda lady. The disgusting Bruntilda has spider pancakes for breakfast. Ew. Then she usually has slug stew for dinner. Yuck. <laughs> Wart bags, then finishes with cockroaches and cream for dessert. How horrid, I know. Jeez. <coughs> Alright, well, we're done. Around here, I should say. Hmm. Well, we are actually gonna go... Uh, how long have we been going on? We've been going on for a while, but I just want to get everything done in this episode. So we're gonna go back into Free Season Peak now. Because now that we have that move, we can get the final Jiggy here. We have that move from World Six. Da 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 da. da. All right. Remember how Boggy said, uh, 
uh, he he should uh, raise somebody his own size. Well, we're kind of his own size, except he's probably like twice as big or whatever. Lay off the. I don't know. I really don't know what to say for that. Alright, where is he? He should be right up here, I think. No, that's the finish line. Duh. Yeah, but I'm gonna get hurt here. Where the heck is he? I think I passed it. I totally probably did. Yeah, it's right next to the entrance. Uh, Noah, what are you doing? What are you thinking? Hello. Hey, buddy, fancy a race against Boggy Prasade except for Aided Chicken. Here's the rules. Run to the red slime gates and yeah, it's basically the same but So now we have these. So that bridge area that's where I always mess up. Because I what I do is I fall off. Not this bridge. Hold on. Thank the Lord. You suck. I hate you, Bobby. Alright, I should be able to pass him though. There we go. I beat him. See, even if he passes and goes really far, you would still catch up easily. Do I miss. I've <laughs> I've lost again. Take my other Meryl. I'm off to look for my kids' presents. I already got them for you. Uh, for you. See, I think I'm a better father. I'm only 16. <laughs> oh, man. Well, then. Yay! Well, we did. We've done a lot in this episode. We completed three worlds. <laughs> well, fully completed three worlds. This is probably the most productive episode. Not really, but whatever. Well, all I'm gonna say is thank you guys for watching. Whoever's watching, and next time on Banjo Kazooie, we are gonna start World Seven. Yeah, I know. And, I'm, and just to remind you, there's only nine worlds in this game, so there's only three worlds left to go. I know, right? Messed up. Grunty's Lair counts as a world, so I guess you can say ten, but, you know. Whatever. Anyway, let's get out of here. Alright. Let's see our progress here. Alright, so we have seven jiggies here. Alright, fully completed. Fully completed. Fully completed. Fully completed now. Fully completed now, and fully complete. Look at that. Wow. That's just amazing. Whew. We've done well. Only three worlds left to go. It's crazy. You're gonna actually. Alright, for. Uh, no, we've been going on long enough, so thank you guys for watching. Whoever's watching, and next time on Banjo Kazooie, we actually have to go through here. Even though I said World 7 is through that, uh, through there, over there, there, we have to get the puzzle. That's. It's somewhere in here, I believe. But, uh, we'll see. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Whoever's watching, and I'll see you guys next time.